Picture this, it's a lazy Sunday afternoon, the sun filtering through your curtains in a warm, hazy embrace. As you idly flip through channels, a burst of laughter and innocent mischief fills the room. You're suddenly transported to a world where childhood knows no bounds, where every adventure is bigger, every prank is wilder, and every friendship is a timeless treasure. Ah, the 1955 TV series, The Little Rascals, a true gem that ignited countless smiles and etched unforgettable memories in the hearts of generations. Can you recall those heartwarming moments, those mischievous grins, and the camaraderie that felt as real as your own childhood friendships? But let's not dive too deep into nostalgia just yet. As we gather round the virtual fireplace, I've got a pocket full of random facts about the little rascals that will leave you wide-eyed and perhaps even craving for a rewatch. From the quirky behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the surprising impact this show had on shaping modern entertainment, these tidbits will tickle your curiosity and take you on a journey through the golden era of television. So, settle in and let's journey back to a time when innocence danced hand in hand with adventure. A time when the little rascals charmed their way into our hearts and left an indelible mark on pop culture. Get ready to unravel the lesser known stories that make this show even more endearing. And as we delve into these fascinating tales, remember your first encounter with the gang and the laughter they effortlessly brought into your life. Time to unveil the curtain on some surprising secrets and delightful truths about our favorite bunch of mischievous youngsters. So, without further ado, let's explore the magic behind the little rascals like you've never seen before. Ever seen before. Ever seen. The 1955 TV series The Little Rascals, originally titled Our Gang, holds a beloved place in popular culture. Created by Hal Roach, the series emerged from a series of short silent films in the 1920s, transitioning into a long-running TV show that aired for over two decades. Set against the backdrop of a diverse group of children, the show captured the innocence, mischievousness, and camaraderie of childhood. The show's iconic characters, including Spanky, Alfalfa, Buckwheat, and Darla, each brought their unique personalities to the screen, contributing to the series' charm. Their adventures and escapades often revolved around everyday situations, adding a relatable touch. The unique style of the series lay in its unscripted, spontaneous feel, where children's natural interactions and reactions were captured, making it stand out from scripted shows of the time. The Little Rascals left an enduring impact on popular culture. The timeless humor and heartwarming moments contributed to its lasting influence, inspiring generations of comedians, actors, and filmmakers. The show's diverse cast also marked a progressive step in representation, with children of different backgrounds coming together in a pre-civil rights era. Now, delving into some intriguing aspects of the show, did you know that the original Our Gang shorts from the 1920s featured silent film legends like Mickey Rooney, and Jackie Cooper in their early acting roles. Additionally, the show's format of capturing genuine childhood interactions laid the groundwork for modern reality television's candid approach. While the show's initial run concluded in 1944, its timeless appeal led to revivals and remakes, keeping the spirit of the little rascals alive for new audiences. From spin-off projects to references in modern media, the influence of this endearing series continues to thrive, showcasing the power of genuine childhood experiences in storytelling. In storytelling. In story. The Little Rascals, a beloved 1955 TV series, has its origins traced back to the 1929-1931 series Hal Roach Rascals. This endearing show captured the hearts of audiences with its delightful cast of children, known as our gang. While this series remains a classic, it has faced challenges due to its portrayal of racial content. Some episodes are now considered racially insensitive and have been rarely aired in modern times. A comprehensive television package of the Hal Roach produced our gang comedies exists, showcasing the majority of the series. However, certain episodes, like Big Ears, were censored for their sensitive subject matter. Notably, a group of shorts including Lazy Days, Moan and Groan, Inc., A Tough Winter, Little Daddy, A Lad and a Lamp, and The Kid from Borneo were excluded due to their racially charged content. Other shorts were edited down to half of their original length to accommodate for content concerns. The show's evolution highlights both its nostalgic charm and the need for critical reevaluation of historical content. The legacy of The Little Rascals continues to prompt discussions on representation, and media ethics in today's context. Next, next, next.
Strikes the Little Rascals, a beloved 1955 TV series, draws its lineage from the earlier Hal Roach Rascals series of 1929 to 1931. This iconic show found its roots in the cinematic shorts from the 1920s, marketed for television as those lovable scalawags with their gang and mischief makers. While the series holds a special place in the hearts of many, it has not escaped controversy. Rarely aired today due to concerns of racial insensitivity, some episodes are considered reflective of a less enlightened era. With its rich history, The Little Rascals showcases both the innocent charm of childhood and the complex layers of cultural evolution, reminding us of the progress we've made. made, made, made. The Little Rascals, rebranding a classic for the television age in a fascinating turn of events. The beloved 1955 TV series The Little Rascals emerged from a tangled history of name changes and syndication strategies. Originally known as Hal Roach's Our Gang, the series found itself on a transformative journey that ultimately led to its iconic moniker. The story begins when Hal Roach, the creator of the series, sold the rights to the name Our Gang along with the series to MGM in 1938. Although Roach managed to reclaim the films he had produced, the name remained locked with MGM due to their own productions during the 1940s. Fast forward to 1950, Roach repurchased films saw a theatrical reissue, yet the Our Gang name still eluded him. Undeterred, Roach turned to his original title card credit, Hal Roach presents his Rascals in, and rebranded the series as The Little Rascals. Notably, during the 1940s, a curious saga unfolded involving unauthorized releases of sound shorts by ERKO films under the dubious title Kids and Pets series. Among these shorts, Hook and Ladder emerges as a peculiar case, often bearing the most common title but curiously missing its concluding gag. In 1950, when official films released the series for the home movie market, Roach opted to steer clear of confusion with the theatrical run and labeled it Famous Kids. However, a turning point arrived in 1955 when The Little Rascals debuted on television screens. The title shift was a result of syndication efforts, marking the series' evolution into a television sensation. No longer confined to cinema reels, these timeless tales of childhood antics found a new platform, capturing the hearts of a wider audience. Intriguingly, this television package presented all Hal Roach produced our gang comedies, save for Big Ears, which was censored due to sensitive subject matter. Additionally, several shorts faced censorship due to racial content, such as Lazy Days, Moan and Groan, Inc., A Tough Winter, Little Daddy, A Lad and a Lamp, and The Kid from Borneo. Some other shorts were edited down to half of their original length to comply with content restrictions. As we journey through the vibrant history of The Little Rascals, it becomes evident that the series' evolution from Hal Roach's Our Gang to The Little Rascals was a narrative of persistence, adaptation, and creative ingenuity. With each rebranding and adaptation, the mischievous charm of these iconic characters continued to captivate generations, proving that the spirit of childhood knows no bounds. No bounds. No bounds. Our Gang, a beloved series of comedic shorts from the early 20th century, found its rebirth in the 1955 TV series known as The Little Rascals. Originating from the 1929 to 1931 series Hal Roach Rascals, these endearing characters once again captured the hearts of viewers. However, a shift occurred when the shorts transitioned to television syndication in 1955. The familiar name Hal Roach Czar Gang transformed into the iconic moniker The Little Rascals. This change marked a new chapter for the gang's adventures, introducing them to a new generation of eager fans. The renaming was more than just semantics. As the shorts gained traction on television screens, their cultural impact and popularity grew. The series, known for its humorous portrayal of childhood antics, took on a fresh identity as the Little Rascals, becoming synonymous with innocent charm and laughter. As time marched on, some of the original content was viewed through a different lens. Certain episodes were deemed racially insensitive by modern standards, leading to their scarcity in contemporary broadcasts. While reflecting the attitudes of a bygone era, these episodes prompted discussions about the evolving understanding of race and representation in media. As a result, some of the original Little Rascals material remained tucked away, a reminder of the complexities of entertainment history. In retrospect, the journey of the Little Rascals from their R Gang origins to their 1955 TV series revival showcases the power of television to immortalize and transform.
with a legacy that continues to evoke both nostalgia and critical reflection. These endearing rascals remain etched in the annals of entertainment history. And history. And history. Trapped in unjust deals, the plight of the little rascals cast members in the dark side of Hollywood contracts in the annals of Hollywood history. The Little Rascals, a beloved 1955 TV series, conjures nostalgia for a bygone era of innocence and mirth. However, behind the scenes, a more somber narrative emerges, one of exploited child actors ensnared in unforgiving contracts that marred their lives long after the cameras stopped rolling. The cast of The Little Rascals, a group of young talents that captured hearts, was, unfortunately, entrapped by exploitative contracts orchestrated by studios and production companies. These agreements, while propelling the show to success, sowed the seeds of future woes. The cast's youthful exuberance often masked their vulnerability in negotiations, leaving them susceptible to ruthless industry practices. Their stories echo a time when the pursuit of stardom came at a harrowing price. The youthful innocence portrayed on screen belied the complex legal web that entangled these budding actors. The dazzling smiles that brightened living rooms across the nation were often dimmed by clauses that left them with limited control over their careers and earnings. As the years went by, the lasting impact of these unjust deals became palpable. Some cast members faced financial hardships, their earnings gone, their futures uncertain. Others struggled to break free from the typecasting that bound them to their childhood roles, hindering their pursuit of more diverse acting opportunities. The Little Rascals cast members illuminate the dark underbelly of Hollywood's golden era, reminding us that success stories often have chapters of exploitation and heartache. Their experiences serve as a stark cautionary tale, prompting us to reflect on the need for ethical industry practices that prioritize the well-being of young talents. In retrospect, The Little Rascal's legacy is not just one of laughter and camaraderie, it's a testament to the resilience of its cast members who navigated a treacherous landscape. Their stories serve as a call to action, urging the industry to rectify the past and ensure that future generations of artists are shielded from the shadows that once plagued Hollywood's glittering facade. Trapped in unjust deals, the plight of the Little Rascals cast members and the dark side of Hollywood contracts sheds light on the untold struggles faced by these young performers and the urgent need to rewrite the script of exploitation that once marred the entertainment world. As we bid adieu to our journey through the endearing world of the Little Rascals, let the echoes of laughter and the warmth of nostalgia linger within you. This iconic 1955 TV series has woven itself into the tapestry of our hearts, a timeless reminder of simpler days and the innocence of youth. As you reflect upon the mischievous escapades of Spanky, Alfalfa, Darla, and the gang, take a moment to embrace the memories that bubble forth. Perhaps you find yourself reminiscing about the camaraderie that mirrored your own childhood friendships. Or maybe you recall a time when a simple clubhouse held the promise of endless adventures. What is it about the little rascals that continues to captivate your spirit? Was it the infectious giggles or the charming innocence that tugged at your heartstrings? We invite you to share your treasured recollections, your musings that are as unique as the characters themselves. In a world that races forward, pausing to relish the past is a gift we give to ourselves. So, let's celebrate the timeless magic of the little rascals by weaving together the threads of our individual memories into a collective tapestry of fondness. From the uproarious antics to the endearing friendships, every episode holds a key to the chambers of our own experiences. Thank you for joining us on this whimsical journey down memory lane, and for allowing the little rascals to hold a cherished place in your heart. Your stories, your thoughts, they enrich the narrative of a show that has transcended time. Share your reflections, your anecdotes, and your heart's connection as we keep the spirit of the little rascals alive. Here's to the memories that never fade and the laughter that's forever imprinted.